Welcome back to Best Man Made. I'm your guy, Mac. And you guys have asked me this question time and time again, and I have not given you an answer. I'm sick and tired of that. I gotta give you answers. This is best man made. So I'm gonna give you what you've been asking for. The thing that people keep asking for is this. They say, Mac, give me a good skincare routine. What is your skincare regimen? How to get yourself looking so nice, so firm, so, so young, so refreshed. And honestly, I've been using nothing but soap and water, so I really didn't know. But today I've been doing my homework. For the past month, I've actually found a product that I think is fairly easy, simple, and effective to use. I'm gonna give you the men's skincare routine, the men's skincare regimen that I use. Roll it. We're gonna keep it nice and simple, people. Now listen, the most awkward thing you can ask another guy is what they're doing for their skincare routine in real life. Now online, it's a different thing. We got that distance, it's okay. But you, it's, you know, if you see a guy and you out and about, you know, you just happen to be, you know, I don't know, going out for a drink or something, you see a guy, said the boy, you walk up to him, you say, hey man, man, you got amazing skin, man. I mean, like, what are you doing? How do you look so, so, so beautiful? How does your skin look so, so, you know, pure and glowing? Man, look, they gonna look at you dead in your eye and be like, yo, really? You looking at my skin? It's not going to be what you want. It's not a good look. Just because, guys, we don't typically go out and talk about our skincare routine with other dudes. You already know this, but that's why you're here at Best Man Made. Because, you know, your boy Mac understands this. Now, luckily, I got a younger brother. My younger brother, I can hit him about anything. I hit up my younger brother. I said, Mike, look, bro, look, here's the deal. I got to quit using soap and just water. That's it. I mean, I'm drying my skin out. How do I get it so I get a nice, better glowing, clear skin type of thing going? brother tells me this he starts naming out products he, he tells me his skincare regimen which he's been doing for years and his is thorough now Mike is my younger taller bigger more attractive brother and this guy he's got it going on so Mike's been breaking this thing down to me and I'm like okay man I think I got it he named like about 10 different products I got lost somewhere in it he actually did a good job and took a picture of it and that was great but I wanted to make it a lot more simplified so what I did in, in this time period is I actually ended up going to Vitamin Shop and I found a product line that I like. Over the past month, I've been using a product line called Shea Terra Organics. Now here's the deal. This video, like pretty much most videos I do, are not advertisements. This is just straight up from your boy Mac. I ain't getting no paycheck from nobody, maybe except for YouTube if you guys watch this. But other than that, not from Shea Terra Organics. They don't even know who I am, but I wanted you to know about this because I think it's a damn good product. Here's my thing. Shea Terra Organics, hold up. I got a couple things to show you. They got this thing, oh, before I show you. While I'm out and I'm, and I'm talking to people, you know, here and there, I went to uh, several different places, right? Because I got to be honest, the only place I feel comfortable talking about skincare is, to be honest, which was through other women. So I went to like Sephora, Ulta, uh, yeah, Ulta, um, a couple of different locations, and I was like, hey, listen, talk about skincare. And these ladies are telling me, yeah, all this stuff, and they keep mentioning black soap. And I'm trying to figure out why I don't want to wash with some black soap. I don't get it. Why is black soap going to get me clean? Why is it even black? I just don't get it. I'm used to white soap. I don't know what it is, right? I'm, I mean, you know, pardon my ignorance, but I'm just being real with you. I didn't know. So I'm looking up, and I realized that black soap takes out toxins and, and, and uh, impurities in the skin helps relieve scarring and all this kind of stuff, right? So I was like, okay, well black soap sounds like a good deal. Where do I go to find good black soap? Now, I happen to go on my Google, I'm researching everything, and then find out there's a lot of black soap on the market that's not pure. What I mean by that is people are actually taking regular bar soap, okay? They're taking regular bar soap and they're dyeing it black. Crazy, right? But that's the whole thing because I guess getting you know, pure black soap is, is, is kind of difficult. Because you gotta, I think it's like you have to get it from a certain location out in Africa or whatever it may be. And, and it's not black because it's African and nothing like that. That's just where it is, all right? Like diamonds or something, you gotta go, that's where they are. So, I'm trying to figure out where do I get good quality black soap and I end up finding it, of all places, at Vitamin Shop. I'm going in and getting some protein 
and uh, the guy that's talking, he's mentioned some of my black soap. I was like, oh, hey, you know what? I'm looking for black soap. Put your boy on. He's like, I bet. Let me show you. So he takes me to the back and he shows me this product, Shea Terra Organics. Now, can you see that right there? Okay, now this is Shea Terra Organics Black Soap Powder. Your boy Mac didn't read that. Your boy Mac saw black soap, boom, give it 100% authentic. I, I gotta have it. Now, I got the powder, here's the issue, all right? Oh, whoo, all right, here's the issue. Black soap powder is exactly what it says it is. Can you see this? Let's see if you're able to see this right here. You see that? You take that powder, right? Add some water to it, it becomes a paste. Chunk it up, make it like a paste, right? Take that paste, start putting it on. Kind of like, you know, you Drake or somebody, you know, just put it all over your face. Once you put it on your face, let that seep in for a while, get all those imp 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 imperfections, clear it up, right? It starts getting into the skin, starts tingling a little bit. Oh, you know what it's doing, it's thing. Whenever, it's, whenever something starts tingling, it's gotta be working, right? So you do that, wash that off, do it again. Now, I'm be honest with you. Doing that one time, I noticed that quick that my skin was that much better looking. No lie. Straight up. Do it and just be a testament to this. Now, you can stay with just the black soap powder and you're good to go. Now, I decided not to do it. I'm going to tell you why. The black soap powder, I use it for the mask. I did the mask probably once every day for like the first two weeks. And I did it once every other day the next two weeks. No problem at all. It was more of a cost kind of thing for me. Um, I moved on because I, I typically like bar soap, so I take, uh oh, hold up, get that out now, get that out, boy. So I like bar soap, so I ended up finding out Shatera made a black soap bar. Bingo. So when I found out they made a black soap bar, I was like, okay, I'm going to keep this, do like the little mask thing, right? So do the mask, right? Now, I'll do that once. Mask, wash it off. Second time, I pull out the soap, right, the bar. Take the bar, do the whole exfoliation thing, wash it off. That worked really good for me. You do that right there, it's gonna pop. Now listen, I'm telling you what I figured out. Again, this video, not an advertisement. Shaytera Organics, they give me no check. They don't, I doubt they even know who I am. After this video, they might know who I am. But. More than likely, you know, they're not gonna ever find out who this is, but I'm gonna tell you this, it's a product that works. I'm gonna always tell you what I think works and what I wanna put you on. Now listen, let me be real with you. Black soap and black soap powder make a hell of a mess. You get into the shower, you wash all this off, it's gonna come down to the bottom of the shower. You gotta make sure you clean enough and you detailed enough to clean that back up. That's probably the most difficult thing I would tell you about this product, is the mess that it leaves. Now, the bar, that's the bar as far as what I got left right now. Can you see that? Oh, let me see if you can see this. Let me zoom in on that. You can see these little like granules of like this rocky looking type of stuff right there. Now that, my good friends, is what helps to break up everything. That's what's like using to exfoliate. When you're rubbing this on your face or, or rubbing on your body or whatever you might do, you're doing all this and it's helping to, to get all the goodness to come out. I don't know, I can't really explain that. I, I, like, again, I'm not, I'm not an expert at this. But this bar of soap, like I said, I, I probably have had for about a month. Um, so you can see it's kind of coming down a little bit. I hope, I hope I got another couple more weeks left in there, but it was probably three times the size at first. All right? So after you do the, uh, the mask, the soap, wash everything off, the next thing you want to do, fellas, is hit this, um, this, uh, let's see if you can see that right there. Can you see that? This Devil's Claw. That's a crazy name for it though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. The African Aloe Devil's Claw. Now this whole thing is about, you know, getting that, that it's alcohol free aftershave type of thing. This is kind of to help make sure that, you know, you, when you, whatever you kind of washed up, you're not having no cuts and nothing up on you. You know, nice little clean type of thing to do. Now, I don't shave much. I'm not one of those hairy dudes, man. I mean, as you can see, I don't really, I don't do all that, you know what I'm saying? You know, hair don't grow on steel. I mean, that's I'm just trying to, that's just a fact. So, I might do this a couple times a week, nothing major, but after I do the wash, the mask, the wash, the alcohol spray, the next 
and most important thing to do, fellas. The most important thing to do is to make sure that you keep your body hydrated. Keep all these different things where your body is moisturized and hydrated. If you, if you walk out with just the soap on, your skin's gonna be dry and all crunchy and crusty. You need to make sure you go ahead and make this thing pop, get that glow going. Mm, all that goodness to kind of surface out. You get all those neat little colors like that. That red and that and that yellow and that brown and that green and, and all that just up in the body. This is what you put on your skin after you wash it up. Now, it's got uh, it's got caffeine in it, and I think that the caffeine is in there to kind of help make it, you know, have that, that tighter feel to it. You know, you get that caffeine. And this ain't like, this ain't like coffee caffeine either. I don't even know where to get the caffeine from, but it's not like a coffee caffeine. This is like a, a more of a pure uh, caffeine type of thing going on, and, and I really like it for what it's worth. Now, again, this right now is my skincare regimen. I'm going to try it out for a while longer and see if it keeps up doing its thing. And if it's doing its thing, if it ain't broke, why fix it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it. So if you get a chance, get out there, check out Shea Terra. You'll probably find it in vitamin shop, maybe online, who knows? I haven't really tried to figure out where else they carry it. Um, but this beats asking any other kind of way, man. I mean, really, how many of y'all can go out there and ask some other dude, you know, his skincare regimen? To be honest with you, please don't do that. Just, just stick to what I'm telling you. And this don't matter if you're black, white, Asian, whatever. It ain't no such thing as a skincare line for black men or a skincare line for white men when it comes to keeping your skin clean and moisturized. That's it. Trust me, I've been trying to read on this thing for months. And I kept even looking up that same mess. What, what do I do if my skin is this complexion? What do I do if it's this? Look, if you got skin and you're a human being and you need to clean it, you need to exfoliate it, you need to moisturize it. It's that simple. The best thing you want to do is keep it with some kind of organic type of stuff because if you go for all that chemical based stuff, I don't know, you might turn out coming out looking like you're green or something. And that might be real cute if you know you're a nice little kid because little kids might want to look like an alien one day or look like they're sick. My daughter looks to walk around and say, hey, look, daddy, I'm like a zombie because I'm a nice little kid and that's what kids do. But as we all know right here, right now, on Best Man Made, Boys Born. The men of me. We'll see y'all next time. Let's get made a progressive lifestyle brand. Stay driven.